In the 1950s and 60s, France decided the French colonies of Africa to become independent. Although the Paris government accepted formal declarations of independence, it called on African countries to sign a so-called Pact for the Continuation of Colonization. They agreed to introduce the French colonial currency FCFA franc for the French colonies in Africa, to maintain the French schools and military system, and to establish French as an official language. The CFA franc is the denomination of the common currency of 14 African countries members of the franc zone. This currency, which constitutes a break on the emergence of these countries, was created in 1945, when France ratified the Bretton Woods Agreements and proceeded to implement its first declaration of parity to the International Monetary Fund IMF. This was called, Franc of the French Colonies of Africa. Since 1961, Paris has had controls over all foreign exchange reserves of Benin, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau, Côte d'Ivoire, Mali, Niger, Senegal, Togo, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, Congo, Equatorial Guinea and Gabon. These 14 countries are required to 85% of their foreign exchange reserves at the Banque de France in Paris. These countries are forced into a colonial tax, a tax that is based on the idea that these countries, despite having independence, owe France for the benefits of France's previous colonial rule. France also has first say over any new natural resources uncovered. Although this has been known for some time it's just been dug up again by a German newspaper who are putting the yearly figure at $440 billion. The French government collects from its former colonies each year 440 billion euros of taxes. France relies on the revenues coming from Africa, not to sink into economic insignificance, warns the former president Jacques Chirac. There is something almost psychopathic in the relation of France with Africa. First, France is severely addicted to looting and exploitation of Africa since the time of slavery. Then there is this complete lack of creativity and imagination of French elite to think beyond the past and tradition. Finally, France has two institutions which are completely frozen into the past, inhabited by paranoid and psychopath o fonctionnaires who spread fear of apocalypse if France would change, and whose ideological reference still comes from the 19th century romanticism, they are the Minister of Finance and Budget of France and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of France. These two institutions are not only a threat to Africa, but to the French themselves. But, what happens if a country just flat out refuses to pay this tax? Well, when Jean Bedel Bokassa, the first president of the Central African Republic, was assassinated, it was reportedly on French orders by ex foreign legionnaire David Daco. This was just one of 67 coups that has occurred in 26 African countries, of which 16 are ex French colonies. Many of these coup d'etats can be tracked back to French Secret Service's actions. And on the economic side, when a country tries to rebel, then France controls so much of the assets they are literally held prisoner. Both the United States and France teach their school children that their countries ignited the light of liberty in the world. But of course, both stories are false. I think we all agree that the French colonial practices in Africa need to end. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.